to Bride County. I want to take you on a journey. Mm-hmm. You. Yeah, he's a bear. It starts here. Don't act like you've never seen one before. We all use them, like literally everyone. Presidents, kings, train drivers, bears. Okay, maybe not bears, but everyone else uses them. This is where it all begins. The wastewater is now on its exciting journey. It travels through miles of pipeline. stop is to a pump station. It can pump water from as far as 15 miles away. It all ends up here. It's like sending an email, only with wastewater. <laughs> Does anyone send emails anymore? Maybe it's more like a text. <laughs> the headworks is where the wastewater gets screened. It's passed through a vertical conveyor belt where solids get filtered out. They also filter out things that shouldn't be there in the first place. Is that a problem? Yeah, it clogs up the system, which slows down our process. But the machine gets rid of it, right? Uh, sometimes we have to remove it by hand. Mm -hmm. Time out, people. Turns out you can't flush hair down the toilet. Or rags, paper towels, baby wipes, and oh yeah, goldfish. Aeration is where we supply oxygen to millions of bacteria who eat up all the junk left like it was donuts on Monday morning. Mm. Some of our machines use tiny bubbles, kind of like a jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. Yes, Smokey, a jacuzzi for poop. <laughs> the air is supplied from these blowers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys must have some electricity bill. It's a lot. The mixture that's left is called activated sludge. Sounds like a super villain, right? Okay, so sludge is still sludge, right? That's why we send it to the de-sludger. The clarifier. Fine. It's sent to the clarifier, which helps the sludge settle to the bottom so the water can flow off. The waste activated sludge, or WAS for short, is sent here to the dissolved air flotation thickener. It uses compressed air to take out as much air as possible. Now we have biosolids. <laughs> the biosolids get put in tanks called digesters. It's kind of like your stomach, but you wouldn't want to eat what they put in here. Super cool alert. Today we're burning off methane gas like other places, but we actually use most of it to heat the digester, which speeds up the process and is way more energy efficient. Our cogeneration system takes fats, oils, and grease waste and converts them into energy. This reduces greenhouse gas emissions by nearly 9,000 metric tons annually. That is equal to removing almost 1,900 cars a year from our roads. 12 trucks a day are loaded with the dried out solid. They're taken to farmlands to be used as soil conditioner and fertilizer. 12 trucks a day! After all the sludge is removed from the water in the clarifiers, it's sent to golf courses and other places that need water to help things grow. We are recycling the water to conserve future water supplies. I help grow this! <laughs> we process 70 million gallons of wastewater a day. You guys are pretty smart. Oh, thank you. Help me with my homework? No. <sighs> we have a professionally developed plan to both maintain and improve our facilities over time. To help do this, we invest money back into our system that we receive from our customers. In fact, we have invested over $1 billion over the last 20 years to improve local neighborhoods and our services. <laughs>